wasn't Bertie a kind guinea pig to help Jenny find her squeak? Now, there were lots of things in that story that guinea pigs love to eat. Can you remember any of them? There were carrots, hay, grass, Bertie's favourite parsley, and also juicy dandelions. Now, I've been out to my garden and look, I've found some juicy dandelions, just like the ones in the story, and I thought we could use these for our craft project this week. So what we're going to do is look at different ways in which we could make pictures of dandelions. So if you look closely at these dandelions, you'll see they've got leaves that are quite pointy and spiky. So we could start off by having a look at those and drawing on some paper or some card. Now it doesn't matter if you don't have green paper or card at home because you can draw on white and just colour it in green. But I've drawn a big, tall, long stem, just like these dandelions have and some spiky leaf shapes, a bit like long thin Christmas trees. If you can draw those and practice a few times to get them right, and then with the scissors, you can cut them out and that can be the start of our dandelion pictures. There we go, I've cut out two long tall stems and two spiky leaves ready to start making my dandelion picture. Now there's lots of different ways that you can do the flower on a dandelion. If you have a look at one of these, you'll see they're made up of lots and lots of long, thin petals. And I've got a few different suggestions from how you might want to make your petals on your dandelion, depending on the things you've got at home. Now I've started to make the petals on this dandelion using some paint and a fork. So make sure you check with the grown-up that it's okay to use a fork that you've got at home. But if you've got any yellow paint, and you just need a little bit, so I've just put some into this paper cupcake case to just give me a little amount to work with and dip the fork into the paint and use it to make great big long thin petals on your dandelion just like that. Now if you don't have any paint to do dandelions with another way is if you've got a long strip of paper like that maybe it could be yellow or maybe it could be white and you could colour it in yellow and just snip lots of long thin strips off the end one after another like that and then you can use those like I've done here and put them together to start making your petals on your dandelion like that. Now one more idea I had for a way you could create dandelion petals is if you've got any wool or string or embroidery threads at home, you can snip off lots and lots of pieces that are just the right length to stick onto your picture and make your petals whoop, that way. So there you go, there's three different ways in which you can make your very own dandelion picture. And if you wanted to make it look like the dandelions are really out in the garden, you cut yourself another strip of paper, either a green one or one you can colour green, and use the scissors just to make little snips into the paper all the way along, not quite to the bottom each time. And then when it's done, you can stick that on the bottom and it'll look just like grass in your garden. There we go, three dandelions in the garden, ready for Bertie to come along and have a munch. Now I'm sure that you could think of lots of other ways in which you could do dandelion pictures and I would love to see some of them. If you could ask a grown-up to take a picture of what you've made and share it with us, that would be lovely. And I look forward to sharing another story and craft with you again next week. Bye bye.